This is part 2 of SQL Server interview questions and answers video series. In this video, we'll discuss writing a SQL query to get the complete organization hierarchy based on an employee ID. To get the best out of this video, these concepts should be first understood. Self-join, CTE and recursive CTE. We discussed these in detail in our SQL Server video tutorial. So if you're new to these concepts, I strongly recommend to watch them first before proceeding with this video. So here is the problem definition. Notice that this employee table contains three columns, employee ID, employee name and manager ID. Now, if an employee ID is passed to the query that we are going to write, then that query should list down the entire organization hierarchy. That is, who is the manager of the employee ID that is passed and who is manager's manager and so on till the full hierarchy is listed. Let me give it a context with a few examples. So this is the employees table and this is the organization hierarchy. Notice that Ben is our super boss, meaning he doesn't have any manager. So the manager ID column for Ben is null. And if you look at Mark, Steve and Laura, they three report directly to Ben, meaning their manager ID column should have the employee ID of Ben. So if you look at Mark, Steve and Laura, notice the manager ID, it's eight, which is the employee ID of Ben. So now, based on this table data, this is what we want to achieve. For the query that we are going to write, if we pass David's employee ID, so David is right here. So if we pass David employee ID, then the query should return data as you can see here. Notice that employee name and manager name. So about David, we have Tom. About Tom, we have Steve. Steve reports to Ben and Ben is our super boss. So David reports to Tom. Tom reports to Steve. Steve reports to Ben and Ben is our super boss. Similarly, for example, if we pass Lara's employee ID, then the query should return data as you can see here. So Lara reports to Ben and Ben is our super, super boss. So that hierarchy should be displayed. So Lara reports to Ben, Ben is our super boss. So let's see how to write this query. And as I told you before, we'll be making use of the concepts of self-join, CTE and recursive CTE. If you're new to those concepts, I strongly recommend to watch those videos first from our SQL Server video tutorial before proceeding with this video. So let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. So I have already created this employees table and also populated that table with some test data. And here is the SQL script that can create the table and populate it with test data. I'll have the script available on my blog in case you need it. So let's write the query. So let's comment that. So we are going to make use of CTE. So I'm going to create a CTE first. So let's call it employee CTE. So I'm not going to get into the basics of CTE here. Okay. So now we are going to write a select query here. Select some columns from employees table. And what columns we want to select from employees table? We want to select employee ID, employee name, and manager ID columns from employees table where now we need to pass an employee ID to this CTE. So I'm going to declare a variable here. So declare, let's declare a variable at ID uh, of type integer and let's set that ID to a value of maybe seven. Okay, seven is David's employee ID. So we are setting the ID to seven. And now we are going to filter employees based on that ID. Okay, so this is straightforward query. We are selecting employee ID, employee name and manager ID of the employee whose ID we are passing. Okay, straightforward. Now here we are going to apply union all operator. So to this result set we are going to append, you know, another result set. So what we are going to do here, so we are going to select, you know, the same set of columns from employees table, but then we are going to join this employees table with this CTE. So basically we are joining the CTE with itself. So basically here it's actually a recursive CTE. So join with employee CTE. And we need to specify the join condition. So we're going to join on employee ID column of employees table with manager ID column of the employee 
CTA. Okay, and what columns we want? We want employee ID, employee name, and manager ID. Now here, both the CTE and the employees table have got the same column names and we want those columns to be pulled from the employees table so here I'm going to prefix the column name with the table name so employees dot employee ID employees dot employee name and then employees dot manager ID columns okay so that's our CTE now what we are going to do is select star from employee CTE. Okay, so a very basic CTE here. First of all, let's go ahead and execute this and see what's the output we get. So, incorrect syntax near the keyword. That's basically because we need to use a semicolon there. So, let's put that there. So, now look at this. We get employee ID, employee name, and manager ID. Okay, so we have the correct manager ID there. Now, what we are going to do is self join this employee CTE with itself. So what I'm going to do here is we want to select some columns and what are those columns? Uh, first of all, let's write the uh, self-join query. So we're going to join employee CTE with itself. So join employee CTE. So let's call this instance as E1 and this instance as E2. And on E1 dot manager ID equals e2 dot employee ID now look at this we are using e2 so basically we are taking the manager ID column in e1 instance and looking up the employee ID column in a2 meaning we are going to get the manager name column from employee I mean e2 instance of the employee CTE so what we're going to do here in the select list we are going to say e1 dot employee name so this will be the employee name because we are treating e1 as the employee table and e2 as the manager table okay and e2 dot employee name as let's give it an alias manager name because that will be the manager name why is that because we are taking manager ID column from e1 instance and looking up employee ID column in e2 instance meaning from e2 we are going to get the manager name okay so now with this let's go ahead and execute uh, and see what output we get okay now notice that we get three rows now if you look at what ID we are passing ID 7 and if you look at ID 7 ID 7 is David's ID so David report to Tom Tom report to Steve Steve report to Ben and Ben is our super boss so we should get four rows now if you look at the number of rows we have got it's only three but that's correct so David reports to Tom Tom reports to Steve Steve reports to Ben and we didn't get Ben's record why is that that's because we are doing an inner join here and Ben's manager ID column is null so it doesn't match that's why we are not getting Ben's record so if we want a Ben record as well then we're gonna make use of left join so instead of an inner join here we are going to use a left join let's go ahead and execute this query and notice that we get Ben's record but look at manager name uh, it's displaying null because it doesn't have a manager ID but instead of that we want this um, you know string no boss and how are we going to achieve that there are several ways again to do that you can either use coalesce function or is null function um, so I'm going to basically use is null function so is null and we need to pass two parameters for this one so if e2 dot employee name if it's not null then that value will be displayed but if it's null then we want to replace that with the string no boss okay so let's go ahead and execute this so notice that we get the output that we expect okay so there we passed David's ID let's go ahead and pass Lara's ID if you look at Lara her employee ID is 5 so let's go ahead and pass 5 here and execute this query so look at that Lara reports to Ben Ben reports I mean Ben doesn't have any boss so super boss so Lara reports to Ben Ben has got no boss now let's pass for example you know maybe uh, Simon employee ID so if you look at Simon his employee ID is 6 so let's go ahead and pass that execute this one so Simon reports to Mark Mark reports to Ben and Ben is our super boss 
So Simon reports to Mark, Mark reports to Ban. Okay, so there we get the output that we expected. All right, and this is exactly the same query that we have written just now. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.